Okay, we're on step three. We're going to uh, mark the outline of the top view. So I have to use my top view and cut out the outline of the design that I made. Now, notice I put only three millimeters of space around the that um, CO2 chamber. So when I when I cut, I'm going to be in the wood chop. I'm going to actually be pretty conservative, and I might actually just use the sanders instead of the saw to cut this off um, to remove that material, and then save the the saws for um, when I need to remove a lot of material, like in this area here. Okay, cut this out. So I'm going to pause the video right now and you can to cut out the rest of my template and you can cut out the rest of your template. All right, I finished cutting out my top view template. And as you can see, it's quite a bit shorter than the actual block itself. So that's one of the reasons we mark the CO2 chamber ahead of time, because if I didn't, I wouldn't necessarily know where that CO2 chamber was supposed to go. Like, should I run it, line it up here or there? We're going to line it up at the back of the block, set that location here. I'm going to hold that in place with my left hand while I'm also using my right wrist to hold it down and then outline that. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking right now that I'm on this back edge. I'm actually not going to use the saw. I think I'm going to use the sanders to remove that material because it's really not that much material. And using a saw, if I make a mistake, I could cut right through my CO2 chamber and that would be bad. We don't get extra blocks in the shop. And I'm actually noticing that my template's kind of a little bit wider than the actual block that I have. And I think that's just because this is a block from a couple of years ago. Not sure though. If it seems too wide, just place it in the middle. You guys can hear the bell. Place it in the middle of the block as centered as you can get it. Oh, I forgot to mark the front. And if you want to, you can try to mark the location of that axle hole just so you know where it's going to be. It's important that you don't cut through it when you're making any cuts. You can always put another axle hole in there. We do have wood filler in the shop, so if you make a mistake with the drill hole, we can relocate it just appearance wise, but any extra holes that you make are um, do compromise the integrity and the strength of the wood. So we try not to do that too much. Notice I'm using the edge of my scissor as a straight edge. Whatever works, right? Just so I know where the axle holes are. And that makes sense because they're, they should be lined up just like that, right? This axle hole. All right, and we're going to locate the bottom, draw the outline of the bottom. You really only need it on one side. You need the design on one side for each of the front view and the top view. But I found in the past that our designs are so different from each other. Some of them, as we cut, like as we cut the top off or as we cut the side off, our, our pencil lines get cut off the block. And if we don't have them drawn on the other side, then we're kind of in a trouble spot because we don't know where we're, our next cuts are supposed to be. So in some cases in the shop, I might have you save the pieces that you cut off and like actually tape them on to the block again so you can actually see where you're supposed to cut. It can be confusing. Not everybody's going to have that situation. But as an example, like if I cut off this whole side right here with the saw, all this is going to be gone, right? So I won't be able to see it here. So we have to be, it's, it's good to draw the design on all of the sides. Okay, that looks pretty good. So you can kind of roll it over, check the design that all the things kind of like meet up where they're supposed to meet up. As an example, if I, right, so I've got this design drawn on the top, right? 
Okay. When I cut this off in the shop, that whole piece is going to come off. So I'm not going to have that design from the side anymore. And I'm going to have to operate from the bottom. All right. That's why it's good to have it on all the sides. All right. We're pretty much done. Make sure your name and uh, day and period, uh, day and period are on the bottom of the block and put it in the box at the front of the room that has all the blocks from your class. You are done.